Hello there guys, DJB Games here and welcome to Wolf Thunder. Today we're going to be doing Russian Ground Forces. Um, I have been doing a lot of Ground Forces lately, um, you may notice. But I've noticed that I haven't actually done many uh, Russian ones, if none at all. Um, so I thought, you know, I'll, I'll jump in the IS-2. And you know, we'll get on with it, we'll see what we can do. So, typical simulator battle, started doing these a lot. Got to get down the hill. Um, a trick with a... A trick, sorry. The nice two is when you're trying to turn, just let go of the accelerator and then turn, and you turn a lot sharper. Now I got a little knock on him. <laughs> I apologise. See that turret going round. He's thinking, you know, I'm polite. Just waiting for him. You know, I think you might as well. He cuts in front of me, but I break. Don't want to hit him. We could get a little shunt myself, actually. Yeah, I just got one there. Right, guy. He says sorry. It's all good. So, I'm enjoying tank models at the moment. I mean, I'm enjoying doing simulator and all that stuff. Because um, uh, I originally didn't have a lot of time about it. Um, I have actually just started to go into realistic. Now my tanks have started catching up to my planes because obviously um, I don't want to be playing planes that I've already fully researched. Um, that's just pointless. Um, I've actually done a couple of battles. I think I'll record one um, in the future. So, I spot a guy. There, just a computer. One shot, kill him. Easy. Now, you might have noticed I didn't go the top way, which I always do, which is south. Um, because the ice 2 has got very bad gun depression. So if there's any guys in the valley below, I have to sort of drive down the cliff slightly and expose myself. Um, so I thought I'd go a level playing level field, see that guy there, get a shot on him, try and aim for his window, it's on the right hand side. Oh, I get his cannon barrel. That's okay, you know. At least I know he's there. Take a hit. I know what I've got to do. So he's reversing. Just trying to guess who he is. I know he's behind the bush. And he's reversed even more. He's trying to do a bit of machine gun fire. Take a shot forward. Try and dip it into that window. Straight through the window. Dead. See, the driver tends to be on the right hand side in most tanks. I'm not saying this is for every tank. I'm not sure if it is every tank. Um, but I, I doubt it will be on the right hand side for everyone. Um, so if you aim just, you know, on the right hand side, um, you tend to get a hit. As long as you, you know, it's low enough and you get it straight through the window, you can do. I mean, you don't guarantee a kill, you can injure the crew, which is good. If you kill the driver, you can't go anywhere for a bit. So I'm just having a look around, see what I can see. I notice there's some flashing on the map. So, this is a problem with simulated battles with a heads up display. It gives away people's position, which I don't think it should. This is why I hope the um, full simulator gets fully implemented um, because it allows you to sneak up on people. It's like I've not even seen this guy. I didn't see him come down the road and he could actually flank me. See, I've still not seen him. Now, if you watch the mini map, he'll appear somewhere else in a minute. And there's no indication of him travelling, I can't see him on screen, even with this slightly aerial view. So I notice these guys are shooting this way, I take a shot, boom, straight through the mantle, dead. Should they have killed him? I don't know, but the mantle is, they seem a bit weaker than they should be to be honest, even though they seem to be the most heavily armed part of the tank, and some of them are curved. So as you can see on the minimap by the way, there's a guy right in this corner somewhere. There he is, there's his backside. Or is it? Oh no, it's my teammate. So he's dead. But no, there's still one there. Ah, there he is. Bad shot though. Got him at a bad angle. So, as you can see, there's a guy on top of the hill. They're not looking down. They don't realise there's an easy target. All you have to do is pop the head over, shoot down. And they'll get a really good hit on him, whether it kills him or not. So, I'm just watching, just watching, thinking, right, where is he? See, I know he's behind that wall. See, I've never been that way, so, because I normally go along the south cliff. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a dip there or anything, but there must be, because he's managed to get there without being seen. So, I head back this way, because I notice there's some gunfire. And I'm like, there's a tank there. So... There you go. I can't get the right hand side because my teammate's there, so I take a shot, but apparently he's already dead. So, it confuses me a little. 
because I'm like, did I hit him then? Is he dead? I'm just waiting for a bit of movement. I'm like, is he? See, I'm offering myself here to try and tempt him to shoot. See, if he was alive, he'd probably shoot. So, I start going forward, and then all of a sudden, something pops up, which is. You'll see in a sec. There you go. Just pops up at the bottom. I always watch him out. There he is. Boom, straight inside it. Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's a good hit, but it doesn't kill him, so I've got to be careful now. His crew can um, come round quick enough, and I've not done any damage to his tank. He'll be able to turn around and kill me. Or at least try to. So I'm just watching. Just waiting. Aim for that window. You see it on the right? Just aim for it. Boom. Straight through the window. Killed him. The window is the key. I know a lot of people aim for the mantles. The mantlets, sorry. Um, because they are tend to be a weak spot, but it's not always a guaranteed. I mean, against me it seems to be. I don't know why. I mean, I've dwarf tanks with 200, 300 uh, millimeters of mantle armor, and I've still had penny shots. So there's a couple of guys at the bridge already. And so I'm like, okay, I'll go south. Stops us getting flanked. And uh, this guy's gone the same way as well. So at this point, my daughter starts crying. So. Well, not at this exact point. In a second, I'll tell you when. Um, so I quickly just have to rush. That's why my, my driving's all over the place. I just go and set my daughter. Now, my daughter can kill me quite easily because I'm going this way, and then guess what happens? Boom, that guy just pops out of nowhere. So I'll get ready for him. I panic a little. Just gotta get ready. He could shoot me at any time. Is he coming out? Yes. Oh, he's going too fast. Boom. Straight through. Nice hit there. Into the ammo rack. And that's another kill. So that's one computer and four players killed. So I'm a bit wary now. Now, as you'll see in a second, the Ice 2's weakness. I'm on a very slight incline here. And oh my gun cannot go any lower than that. So I have to reverse. I'm like, because if a guy pops out and has a shot at me, I won't be able to shoot him back. And I'm basically that's just a free gift. So as you see, I'm taking a wider route to avoid the slight incline. And I think, do I spot a guy here? I'm not sure. Remember, I am narrating after the battle, um, so obviously I forgot some things that happened. So I take a risk here. Drive across it, and boom, he's there. Uh oh. I was a bit lucky with that shot, to be honest. Um, it was more of um, a snapshot because that guy just pointed his barrel at me. Um, and I initially he was thinking, aim for the window, aim for the window. But he's got quite um, a lot of angle on his front armour. So I aim for the, the gun because I was trying to put his gun out of action. Um, I didn't expect to get a kill like that, but I did, thankfully, and that made it a little bit easier for myself. So, right, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting here just to see if a guy pops around the corner. Because some guys that might. I think right, a guy's come down there. Some could come down this way. So I'm just being a little bit cautious because we're getting quite close to their capture point. Um, and you know what that means. The guys who are dead could be responding. So I notice there's a ping on the map. There's a tank there. Shoot it. Nothing. Now I'm thinking, did he hit him? Or is he a dead tank? So I'll just sit back. Let myself reload. Just waiting. So you can do. Reload time is quite long, but you know, you've just got to keep in safety. So as I'm waiting here. Guess what happens? Just keep watching. It's nothing. It's nothing exciting. It's not like a, a blimp's going to pop up or anything like that. Um, it's just like what you don't want to see in a battle. You know, you're aiming that way, and then all of a sudden, you think, "Is that is that the guy I shot? Did I actually get him?" And then the flash on the map pops up again. And you're like, "Where is he? Can't see him." 
and he's shooting in that direction as well and you're like what is it? Ah yeah, right. So he's just been killed right in front of me. It's a little bit worrying. That was the thing I was saying, that's what I, that's what happened. So I'm like, where is this guy? See, I was actually aiming in the right position, as you'll see in a second. See what I'm watching? Right, is he behind there? Isn't he? No. So I'm just driving very slow. I'm just trying to creep up. Because if I need to stop and shoot, um, I need a, a level um, aiming. So I see that I'm going up, and then I notice there's a flash. So I look that way. Oh, you sneaky bastard. See the... Um, Cannon barrel sticking out. So I'm like, right, okay. He's hiding behind the rock. I'll flank him. I think he's just been killed, yes. Plume of smoke coming up. I still have to go and have a look just to make sure there's not two guys there. This tree pisses me off. So I'll stop. I'm like, if a guy gets me now, <laughs> I'll be fuming. Imagine um, I was flanking that guy. He just sees a tree coming around the corner. Some close gunfire next to me, so I'm like, right, this guy must be here. Go to the capture zone. Climb the hill. He's already dead. Damn it. See, sometimes you can't tell if someone's dead because they don't have any indication that they're dead because the crew's been killed. Um, I think it'd be good, in a way, if um, tanks could sort of stay there, but obviously if all the guys get killed in a certain area, then you'll get um, pile-ups, effectively. So artillery fire comes in, so I go up, see that guy shooting, he's dead, damn it. Boom, didn't even see the guy, just been killed, kind of straight through the side, gets me ammunition. It was unfortunate, but it happened. So, that was it. That was the end of the game. We won, obviously. Um, and I got ended up with six kills. Five players, one AI, two criticals, 13 hits. So I spent well on my ammunition. But thank you guys for watching, and bye for now.